Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of this Unity C Hash series. In this video, we're gonna see how to install Unity 3D into our operating system, and also we're gonna be running our first C Hash script. So let's get started. So open up Google Chrome or any of your favorite browser so that we could install Unity 3D into our operating system. So type in Unity 3D and enter and now tap on the first link. So Unity Game Engine, so tap on that. And seems like my internet connection is pretty slow and that's bad. Now tap on Get Unity and now scroll down so that you could select this particular option that is Stripe Personal. And now scroll down so that you could download this particular installer. So download installer. So tap on that and now the installer will be downloaded to your downloads folder. And there you go, it's only 848kb and now seems like it has got downloaded. So tap on the download file. Open Unity Download Assistant by just double tapping on that and now tap on open. And now what you need to do is you need to just tap on continue, continue, blah, 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 blah. So tap on continue, continue and tap on I agree, so agree. And this is pretty important. Now, if you want to build games for Android and iOS, you need to make sure that you put a check mark for both these builds, that is Android build support as well as iOS build support. Put a check mark for all the components that you need and tap on continue. Now, just type in your password. So mine is a pretty long password. So done and tap on OK. And now select the destination. I'm going to put my destination as Macintosh HD. So tap on continue and now the components will be installed to your operating system. So basically the Unity app will be installed on your operating system. And this may take pretty long time. So I'm going to be pausing this video right here and I'll be back and after it's done its work. So see you there. So now that Unity is installed to my operating system, I'm going to be opening that up. So as you can see here, this is the Unity symbol. So it's kind of cube. So tap on Unity. So to open the application. And there you go. Now we are inside Unity. Now we need to create our new project. So tap on new. So here, just by tapping on this, we can create our new project in Unity. So tap on new. Now we need to give our project a name. And seems like this particular name is cool. This is our first project. So this is going to be a new Unity project. OK, I'll just change that name to first project. So first project. And I'm going to be saving this on the desktop. So of course, it's on desktop. And here. We are not going to be making any 2D or 3D games right now. Here we're going to be learning only C hash scripting. So I'm going to be just typing on this 2D or whatever, doesn't matter. So, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to be just typing on 2D and tapping on create project. So tap on create project. So to create our Unity project. So it's importing assets and etc. And now we are inside Unity. So this is the Unity guys. I'm going to be just resizing this particular thing it's kind of very big and it's not cool so this is the inspector menu so now don't be just confused or get tense looking all these components right here on the screen we're going to be looking at this in the other series that is unity game development series the sole purpose of this particular series is to just make you learn how to write your own c hash script so that you could make games with the help of c hash scripting now that we are in unity guys Whenever you are inside Unity, make sure that you save the scene right and there. Got it? So now that we are inside Unity, make sure that you just save your scene. So you may ask, what is a scene? So the thing that you see right here, this rectangular gray box, this is the scene. This is where we add all our game objects, like, you know, coins in the game or player in the game. So this is where we add all our game objects inside this particular gray box. And this is the scene. So guys, remember when you just enter Unity, make sure that you just save your scene. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on Command S or you can just go to File and tap on Save Scene and there you go. Save Scenes. So Command S, Save Scenes and here just name your scene. I'm going to be just naming this as First Scene. So First Scene and tap on Save. And now this particular scene is now saved. If you navigate to your project menu that is right here, you can see here right here the project. So tap on project and if you see inside the assets folder, you see your saved first scene. So you have saved your scene successfully guys. That's cool. So now that we have installed Unity and also saved our scene, it's time to write some C hash code. That is your first C hash code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just right click inside this assets folder and go to create 
So go to create and tap on this C hash script. So tap on C hash script and guys, this particular C hash script is generally pronounced as C sharp scripting. Okay, so from now I'm going to just pronounce it as C sharp but not as C hash. Got it? Fine. So now let me just name our C hash script. Sorry, C sharp script. So I'm going to just name this as first script. So first script and now press enter. And to open up this file, all you need to do is you need to just double tap on that C sharp file. So tap on the C sharp file. So double tap on that. And now the script is open in mono develop. Great. And now let me just get rid of these comments. This is pretty annoying. So let me just get rid of this. And now there you go. Now we're going to write some C sharp code. And now inside the start function, you can't just use print function here. Whenever you want to write something into Unity console, you need to just use this particular function that is debug.log. Okay, let me just go to Unity again. And right here you can see that we have console section right here. So to print anything right here into our console section, you need to use debug.log. So just head over to your mono develop again. And now here inside the start function, I'm going to write that particular debug.log. So I'm going to just type debug. And you see that this particular mono develop is helping us out. So that's pretty cool. So debug.log and sorry debug.log and inside this I'm going to put a string that is I code. I'm going to just print out I code. So I code and now put a semicolon after every statement inside C sharp. Guys just remember after every statement in C sharp you need to put a semicolon as you put the semicolon in C++, C, etc. Okay, fine. So put a semicolon right here and just save this by just tapping on Command S. So press Command S and now the script is saved. We can just run the script. So let's just run and see if that is working. So let me just minimize this window and head over to Unity and now to run a script in Unity, all you need to do is you need to just tap on this run button right here. So let me just tap on the run button. And so tap on the run button. And now you see that our game is running. But we don't see that particular string in the console section. Why is that? Okay, let me just tell you what happened. So let me just stop this game by just tapping on the play button again. So just tap on the play button and now the game is stopped. So what just happened? Guys, listen. So when you tap on this particular play button inside this Unity, what happens is Unity runs all the scripts for all the objects inside that particular scene. Okay, let me just say that again. So when you tap on this play button right here, what happens is Unity runs all the scripts for the game objects inside your scene. For now, if you go to hierarchy panel right here, so this is your hierarchy panel. Here is where you put all your game objects that is you know gold coins, platforms, your player etc. So you're gonna put all that in the hierarchy panel. So if you see here you have a game object that is main camera. So if you tap on main camera, so this is a game object and this particular main camera is inside your scene. So when you tap on this particular play button, what happens is this particular unity will run all the scripts that are attached to this particular main camera. Again, when you tap on this play button, what happens is Unity runs all the scripts for the objects inside this scene. Okay, fine. So now if you tap on the main camera, so right here, you can see in the inspector menu that there is no script that is attached to the main camera. So basically here, when you tap on the run button, there is no script that is running. As there is only one object inside the scene, that is main camera and main camera is not attached with any other script. So basically we are not running any script. So now how to make our script run? You may have got the idea by now. That is we need to create a new game object inside this particular hierarchy panel. So create a game object. So right click here and create an empty game object. So tap on create empty. And now let me just name this game object by just tapping on that, you know, just a single click. So click on that and now you can change the name for that game object. Or let me just name this as player or something like that. Doesn't matter for now. So now this particular player, that is this particular game object is inside our scene. 
that means when you tap on this play button the unity will run the script that is attached to this particular player okay so what you need to do is you need to just attach our script to this particular player so that our script will be run when we tap on this particular play button got it this is all the basics guys so go to your project menu right here so go to your project menu and now here you can see that this is our first script and now to attach this script to your game object what you need to do is you need to just drag this up and just put it on the player and now if you tap on the player you can see that in the inspector menu right here for this particular player the script is now attached that is the first script that we have created so now when you tap on this play button this particular script will be now executed got it fine so now tap on the run button and see if that is working or not so tap on the run button and now if you go to the console tab so tap on the console tab you can see that i code is now printed out because this particular player game object is inside the scene and unity runs all the scripts for the game objects inside the scene and this is how we made our i code display right here and now let me just tap on the play button again so to stop running our game so guys this is how you install unity into your operating system and this is how you run script inside unity so you create a game object you attach that particular script to your game object so that when you tap on the play button your unity will run that particular script this is how you do it so from the next video we're going to see what are variables what are for loops what are f loops and what are classes and objects it is a pretty confusing topic for the beginners but i'm going to make that easy so don't worry about that so that's it for this video thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll be back with the next video very soon so till then see ya